WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we've got all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's off 575 points. That's 1 in 6 tenths percent to the downside. The S&P down 2 percent. That's 92 buckaroonies out there. Appearing some kind of echo. Uh, the NDX is off 427, down about 3%. The Russell's off 2%, 43 points out there. Let's go. And the spot volatility is up 28%. Those of you that are longtime listeners, you know the game plan. You know what to be watching for this evening. If we have a spot volatility next above it, with a one-day rate of change above plus 10 percent, that tells us to anticipate and look for some type of bounce or bottom in the market in the next 48 hours, typically 24. But in our market update charts, as we take a look at the ES Mini still trading above support, support is the bottom of its weekly profile. That's at 43.12. You see the spot volatility next to that. That shows a uh, big move above the 50-day exponential moving average. We really kind of covered that. The NQ right now is testing the bottom of its weekly profile. That's at 14.802. You're at 14.759. U.S. dollar index testing the support from back on the or the recent since I should say uh, the resistance that was established swing point from August the 20th out at 93.7386 out there. If we take a look at gold doing really well uh, with the uh, move inside the U.S. dollar index. What I mean is right now gold is potentially going to hold support. The number to watch for is 1742.30. 1742.30 is the bottom of that key reversal session. Silver so far has held support. Silver formed a bullish engulfing candle yesterday. That says the low of the bull of the engulfed candles or the engulfing candle itself, whatever is that low, is the support level. Well, that would be the prior day at 2209. Silver is strong. It has held support. Lights we crude has made the one to one A to B equal CD. It's taken a rest. No bearish reversal candle just yet. If we did see a bearish reversal candle, that would identify at least a short term top. Natural gas, it's got an A to B equal CD pattern. That could take us up to 663. During the show, we'll take a look at my bigger chart out there. Take a look at a resistance level that price is trading into. And in the case of the 30-year Treasury, it has uh, completed a, uh, a consolidation breakdown. And that says or that suggests that price should make a move equal to or greater than the consolidation itself. That gives us a price target of about 156 and change out there. So, folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, do me a favor. Have a terrific one. And we we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Take care now.